In 10th place is Batman Arkham Knight. I'm sorry to disappoint you but Batman Arkham Knight was released in 2015. The game is already starting to get outdated, but for some reason it seemed to me that the game came out quite recently. Anyway, visually Batman Arkham Knight has stood the test of time. It is so detailed that it can be put on par with modern games. The graphics in the game are something of a marvel. Even if the game came out now, I would believe it. Everything in the game is at the highest level. The city, the environments, the rain, the raindrops dripping down Batman's cape, the character character development, the effects, and the range of drawing is just amazing. The developers did a great job nine years ago. Graphic component, then made just some quantum leap in development. Gothic, gloomy atmosphere of Gotham is transmitted and felt at the highest level. The game will surprise even the most picky people with its graphics. I played the game on different platforms, and the game looked amazing everywhere. Even now on PlayStation, for it looks decent. This game can easily be a good competitor to modern games. In ninth place is Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 is probably not your favorite game in the series, but it looks very cool. Especially the very beginning of the game, where there is a war on neutral territory. There are no words but emotions. The storyline is incredible. I am amazed at the work done by the guys from DICE. The game amazes and touches to the core. It's a dark atmosphere drenched in fear and horror. These heroes and this damned war. Once immersed, you realize what people had to endure on their way to freedom, and many of them will never grow old. It's hard hard, especially in these times, to see the game as entertainment. You involuntarily think about the fates of people who had to come face to face with the horrors of war, and wish only one thing, that no family in the world will never face this nightmare. In other aspects, there are no complaints to the game at all. Just great graphics, destructibility, the scale of the events taking place on the map, and quite good optimization leaves not only positive emotions. I still return periodically Battlefield 1 partly because of the graphics, because it incredibly conveys the terrible atmosphere of the First World War. Like no other game, and despite the fact that it was released in 2016, it looks just superb. In 8th place is Rise of the Tomb Raider. The game is still praised for its graphical performance. On the PC it was released only a year later, in 2016, after a temporary exclusive release on the Xbox console. At one time this event made quite a lot of noise. Trailers for the game showed a very cool picture. People back then just couldn't believe that they would see such graphics on release. During my recent replay, I kept forgetting that this is a 9-year-old project. We'll visit snowy mountains, the hot and deserted Middle East, and a mysterious valley. We will climb old old mines and catacombs. We will see many different tombs. The contrast of terrain you will definitely not let you get bored, and all this will be with incredibly beautiful graphics. And in 2021st year to the game on PC, added support for deep anti-aliasing technology from NVIDIA. Without exaggeration looks amazing even in 2024th year. I think everyone remembers very well that this game for a long time was used as a benchmark for testing graphics cards. In 7th place is God of War. The game was released in April 2018 on PlayStation 4. God of War is worth noting separately only because the life cycle of PlayStation 4 was coming to its end and from the console were able to survive its maximum that time. The game had simply amazing detail, the size of the world. The graphics in the game is excellent, which is better than many games that come out to this day. Each location looks so beautiful that even forget that you are playing the game. A huge variety of opponents, mythical creatures, dragons, witches, gods, and all this is accompanied by gorgeous animations, non-stop action. As a result, we got a very atmospheric, in many ways truly wonderful adventure, which is definitely not worth bypassing. Kratos has amazing detailing, that you can even see the pores on his skin. Everything is worked out perfectly, and if you've run this game on PC recently, even without mods, you know what I'm talking about. Even if you take that impressive level of detail, and bring it down to the original PlayStation 4, picture still looks impressive. Sixth place goes to Red Dead Redemption 2. I know this is already a newer game. The console version came out in the fall of 2018, but how good it is. In my opinion, the graphics in Red Dead Redemption 2 are, if not better, one of the best in the entire gaming industry. Even after almost six years since its release, the game is quietly ahead of almost all current games. The elaboration of small graphical details is very good. The drawing distance is also just great. If you are looking for a game to create very beautiful screenshots, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best option. Take my word for it. Detailed urban areas, fields and forests full of life. Every inch of this game is amazing. Characters look and move very realistically, and you can distinguish the smallest details on the ground, on the streets, on horses, stores. It's all here and the best part is that it all still looks decent. Despite the fact that the game hasn't been updated for new console generations, came out at the very last moment last generation, and officially there still hasn't been a full-fledged update to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. Technically, the game still looks incredible on PlayStation 4 and Xbox, not to mention the PC version. 
In the fifth place is Far Cry 5. The fifth part was released in 2018 year, and Far Cry series has always been famous for its quality. It is even called Far Cry because they use the CryEngine engine. So there is nothing surprising. But Far Cry 5 uses an engine called Dunya Engine, which is a modified version of CryEngine. And the game on Dunya Engine looks incredible. Graphics is beautiful even on minimum, though there are some small joints with optimization. You can argue about the plot of Far Cry 5, but the game is certainly beautiful. The environment, the atmosphere of the American Hope County is transferred quite well. Rivers, mountains, forests and gas stations on highways are all rendered realistically. The graphical evolution of Far Cry 5 is noticeable to the naked eye. Thanks to a number of improved technology features, the graphics have acquired a truly realistic look. Sometimes you even forget that you are playing the game and not watching a movie. Working out the environment of the area turned out just divine. Well, of course, having such a beautiful graphics can be added to the game a special photo mode, which everyone can already customize for themselves. In fourth place is Assassin's Creed Origins. Personally, I consider it the best installment of the last four games in the open world series that came out seven years ago. The game has incredible graphics, but you know, it's the visuals of the game that attract me more. Perhaps Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Origins are on the same level in terms of graphics and variety of details. But Assassin's Creed Origins wins in terms of the drawing range and incredibly colorful sand dunes, and also its beautiful oasis with rivers, around which live a variety of animals. By the way, the water in the game is just at an incredibly high level for that time. All this you can observe from a bird's eye view, which looks extremely impressive. We know that Assassin's Creed Valhalla went even further, but only in the deserts of Assassin's Creed Origins can you see the scorching sun enveloping the beautiful blue rivers and green reeds of the oasis. It looks amazing even for today. I think Assassin's Creed Origins can compete quite well with the recently released Assassin's Creed Mirage, and in some moments Assassin's Creed Origins will look even more beautiful than Assassin's Creed Mirage. This is my subjective opinion. In third place, Until Dawn. This game from the year 2015, released on PlayStation 4, still looks very beautiful, in particular thanks to the clever use of light and shadows. Until Dawn looks superb. The characters are drawn from actors, and they look incredibly good. As befits an exclusive, Until Dawn can be called one of the most beautiful interactive games ever made on the PlayStation 4. Naturally, in the quarry in their last game, they improved the facial animations considerably. But then, as now, the faces in Until Dawn look very convincing and realistic. Now, now pay attention. The game was developed by the year 2013 on PlayStation 3, how about that? But later it was decided to wait for PlayStation 4, so as not to sacrifice the optimization of the game. And now imagine how surprised people were at such a picture 9 years ago. Who missed this masterpiece? I advise you to catch up with it. In second place is Rise, Son of Rome. Now let's go back 11 years. The game was released in 2013 in the year 2013, at the very start of Xbox One sales, and it looked like something unreal. Later, when the game came out on PC, it surprised us again with its beauty. I don't understand how they managed to achieve such a picture on the weakest hardware of the 8th generation consoles, not taking into account Switch. The quality of the detail models still gives me an incredible thrill. I envy those who were able to play this miracle in 2013 at the release. Just imagine how they felt 11 years ago from such a picture. The detailed characters, the crisp visuals, the camera angles, everything looks amazing and doesn't even feel dated. Not at all like a game that is 11 years since its release. It has certainly stood the test of time. That's something I don't think anyone can argue with. First place goes to Uncharted 4, and I guess a lot of people were expecting to see this game here because it looks incredibly beautiful for its years. Came out in the year 2016, and it is another game that came out on the PlayStation 4. The visuals of the game are above reproach. Uncharted 4 is a joy to look at. Nathan Drake and his adventures will have time to visit snowy Scotland and go to the picturesque island of Madagascar. And the contrast of landscapes in the game is simply incredible. Graphics in the game is at a decent level even in our time, and at the same time the game works perfectly. Instant loading, excellent FPS. There are no problems with optimization in the game, you just want to walk and admire the locations, especially when you get to a tropical island. In general, the game looks like it was released not 8 years ago, but recently. This is my subjective opinion, but when I played this game on release, I was thrilled, and that's putting it mildly. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments about which game I forgot, and remember this is only my subjective top. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as all videos are made just for you. The more subscribers, the more videos. With you as your gamer, have a nice day.